Hi, I'm Brittany Sleeth. I'm Vivian's mom. This is very difficult. <laughs> Go. Woo! And do you love to be active? Yes. Do you think anything has changed yet so far since you've been diagnosed? Do you think the treatment's working? Maybe. Maybe. What do you want to do when you grow up? A police. A police? And what else? Uh, 19 months post-diagnosis. <laughs> get fired. What else? And she's still thriving. She goes out in the wild and see if anything's burnt. If anything's burnt, it's like a firefighter? My specialty in the clinic and in my lab is in the study of uh, DIPG and DMG. We are up against a tumor that has a lot of difficult features to, to beat. It is in a part that you, of the brain that you cannot operate on. Uh, it's in a developing brain that has lots of really important developing <coughs> components. We're up against the blood-brain barrier, which makes it so that over 90% of drugs that are developed for cancers don't aren't able to reach it. So we're looking for treatments that are um, unique and also non-toxic, non-tough on our, our children and their growing brains. <clears throat> when I first heard of um, the growing um, field of focused ultrasound um, for DIPG, um, it, it immediately grabbed my attention. This is a unique method of getting after these tumors that um, uses sun essence um, therapy to target the tumor is one of these of the most promising therapies that we have available for our children with DIPG. Um, many of my patients are um, actively considering this as one of this is a really important time to get behind a therapy like focus ultrasound and the sonolescence uh, based therapy for the tumor so that we can really have our best chance to make a good progress. Okay, and how many treatments have you done with sonolescence? One. Yeah, just one. When's our next one? Tomorrow. All right, dude, what's your name? Francisco. And what is the name of your cancer? DIPG. Uh -huh. And do you remember the things that you did before your cancer? I made obstacle courses downstairs, and I played soccer, and I ran and jumped. Uh-huh. And, and after that? I went to the hospital for a couple of weeks, uh -huh. and then when I got out, I had to use a wheelchair. So after starting your trial, has anything changed? Um, now I can um, run a little bit and do squats. Um, what were your symptoms? Uh, numbness on this side of the face. Okay. And uh, instability in walking. Sure. Yeah, and uh, more uh, close to the diagnosis, slurred speech. Yeah. Uh, from the perspective of my family members, they say I sounded like a zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what trial are you talking about? Uh, Summer lessons in Washington, D.C. Fantastic, and they're doing a great job. Did you what? receive any radiation for your diagnosis? Yes, I received 30 treatments of radiation. Um, I think 11 days after I was diagnosed, they started putting in the orders for radiation. Okay. Jacob, tell me what you look forward to in the next six to 12 months. I look forward to God working in my life and doing the treatments every five weeks and uh, just improving overall. Our three-year-old Alwyn has DIPG, which is a rare form of brain cancer, and every bit of awareness and help and donations that you send helps kids like Alwyn get better treatment and live longer lives. So I'll end on that um, and appreciate your time and potential support. Please join us in making and fighting to make DIPG extinct. You know, we know one day we'll find a cure for cancers like DIPG. There's no doubt in my mind one day it'll happen, but our job is to do it faster, as fast as possible, because DIPG won't wait.